suspected armed robber is in the hospital tonight, and a second one is on the run in a pharmacy holdup. Now that robbery took place, it turned into a police-involved shooting, and it all happened in the small city of Elwood in Madison County. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is outside of that pharmacy tonight to tell us exactly what led to the shooting. When the first police officer arrived here at low-cost prescriptions, one of the suspects was coming out the front door. There is actually evidence on the side of the building. Officers have spent most of the afternoon looking for the second suspect. The low-cost prescription pharmacy is now the scene of a violent crime. Wednesday afternoon, Elwood police rushed to the store for a robbery in progress. Crime scene tape surrounds the building where two suspects wanting prescription drugs held up employees inside. Evidence on the side of the building includes what looks like pill bottles plus this gun being processed by evidence techs. As they fled the store, an Elwood police officer arrived on the scene and confronted at least one of the robbers. Apprehended one of them and he was then transported to St. Vincent in Indianapolis, reference a gunshot wound. We've had the same establishment has been burglarized before, so anywhere where there's opiates, that seems to be a trend. Elwood police interviewed and released employees inside the pharmacy during the robbery. Fortunately, no one got hurt in the incident. When we talked to the police chief early on in the investigation, he remained confident that they would catch the second suspect. If you have any information on the robbery, you can call the Elwood Police Department. In Elwood, I'm Steve Jefferson.